So yeah, we're here at Staunton State Park, and uh, last night a district wildlife manager contacted me. Um, basically had a marmot um, that got caught in a vehicle at near Winter Park and uh, made the trip all the way down to Parker, Colorado. And from there, um, Parker Police Department was able to capture it and uh, gave it to us uh, so that we could relocate it and release it back into the wild. So, you know, Staunton is a, is, is a, a lower elevation uh, habitat for marmots. Uh, typically they live at, you know, 10,000 feet or above and um, they've made their home in the park. So relocating one here is a fantastic opportunity for it to continue to thrive. And we happen to be celebrating Marmot Fest today and this weekend. And so it worked out perfect for us to be able to relocate a marmot during Marmot Fest. Obviously the marmots and some of the, the rodent type animals um, like the smell of you know, the radiator fluid, the oil, that kind of stuff in your vehicle. They also like the warmth. And so they're attracted to that based on warming themselves up. And so they'll get inside the vehicle. So we recommend things like mothballs or dryer sheets, something that's a deterrent. Um, leaving the hood open so that the engine cools off quicker um, helps to keep those animals from getting in your vehicle. If you do happen to have a, a, a marmot or an animal like that that does take a ride from your, your place of recreation back to your home, we obviously recommend either call on your local police department or your local district wildlife manager and we can come help capture it, hopefully uh, keep it alive and then relocate it in a place like Staunton um, if that were, were to be the case. The marmots have become kind of the mascot of Staunton, and so we do marmot monitoring um, and have been for the last 10 years or so, um, just to kind of get a feel for how wild animals are surviving and thriving with the public interaction. Now that the park is open to the public, we want to celebrate marmots and, and basically show off what they do and where they live and, and how they thrive in the wild. Um, as well as then how we can protect them while we're out recreating in the park. So you know, we have a lot of cool scavenger hunts about how to find them, what they, where their burrows are at, as well as then how we can keep our dogs on a leash while we're in the park and make sure that those interactions are safe and, and comfortable for not only you and your, your pets, but also the wildlife and the marmots in the park. Obviously we want to leave it, let it be. Uh, we don't want to feed it. We don't want to try to interact with it. They are wild animals and they, they may come and, and inspect you and investigate what, who you are, what, you, what you've got going on. Uh, but they, they may be doing that to protect their pups or their young um, in their burrow. And so we want to keep our distance. We want to make sure that we're um, you know, viewing them from afar.